Hi guys, welcome back to my let's play of Stalker Clear Sky. Let's continue on. So, I was told in the last episode, in the comments of the last episode, by you guys that I just tossed away my best weapon. So, I'm... Hey! <laughs> What's going on here? So, I'm just gonna go here, pick it back up like this. And let's drop this. Because I don't think I need this anymore. Somebody can pick it up. Come on, like, this is for you guys, you can take it. And I was also told that I don't have a like I don't have a hunger bar in this game basically. And that was really surprising to me. Because the other the other previous games had hunger system in them, so yeah, I was really surprised to hear about that. But that means we can sell our food, no problem. And that's good. So we can get or unload some of our stuff so we don't have to walk around over encumbered. Yeah. Anyways, this is like my third time starting this episode again because well, I wasn't happy with the intros of those previous parts, and and well, I checked one of those intros, and the microphone quality was awful for some reason, and I I highly doubt that it's my microphone or my computer causing that because I had those pro problems before with XSplit, and as I've told you, I need to record this series with XSplit because OBS won't detect this game, so I'm really hoping the audio is gonna be good now and it's not gonna be all messed up but anyways let's move on let's move on to to here this is our next objective talk to Sidorovich uh, I would have sold my food to this guy over here but he doesn't want to buy food he just sells it so I can't really do much with that I'm still over encumbered but well, I'll try to, like I said, unload some of my stuff as soon as possible. Also, are you good guys? Because in the mod, those were bad guys. Okay, they're good guys. Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's see if any of them wants to buy food. Hi guys, how are you? I'm Wanna buy food? Stepan Shop. Are you pointing your weapon at me? You got something to say. Somebody's. Say uh, let's trade. Yeah. S buy these. I don't think I need these anymore. I mean, I might. I if I don't have a uh, hunger bar, I really don't need them. But oh, now they appear here. What? When I sold the other item. Okay, never mind. I don't know what's going on. I'm all ear. <laughs> What's going on here, guys? Are you okay? Oh, oh, video games. I'm listening. Nice, a guitar. Excellent. Always oh, nice to see that. Hello. A stash. But it's oh, there's actually a bandage in here. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna not take it for once. For once, I'm not gonna take a bandage. I find. Because we might need it later if we come by here when we're like injured and we don't have any medical items. If that ever happens, I'll be prepared for that. What's this? Uh, looks abandoned. Oh, I think this is a stash as well. Yeah. It is. Yeah, this same exact house it was in the mod also mm. yeah i really shouldn't be jumping around a lot because my stamina is terrible because i'm over encumbered like i keep repeating uh seems really empty yeah hey let's just see yeah they're usually empty if I don't have them marked on my map, but it doesn't hurt to check, I guess. Oh, 
Okay, maybe I shouldn't be uh, keeping my flashlight on outside because it's quite bright here. Yeah? Also, the weather is awful. This is terrible. Anything over? Look at this, there's stashes everywhere. Like, every place I look, I see a stash. But that's a good thing, so I'm not gonna complain. Oh, look at that, there's a herd of mutants. Well, I'm glad they're walking away from me instead of coming right to me. Oh, radiation. Am I good? I'm good. Oh yeah, I got the artifact here, so it should uh, protect me from small amounts of radiation. Uh, wait a moment. This place seems quite familiar also. This almost looks like the place from the first game. Like the very beginning. Like the the guy who was injured was here, and I actually traded him the medibag when I should have just given it to him. Yeah, good old times. Uh, anything? Huh? Well, this is a cool little hut, I guess. Oh, they're coming here! What's going on? Come on guys, you were just heading the other direction. How did you see me? Oh hey, this actually must be the place. This really looks like it. Oh hey. I've got a feeling there's a reason yeah. for you being here. This is the place, Sidorovich. Alright. I'm all ears. Uh, yeah, I thought that the name sounded familiar. I'm listening. But I wasn't really sure because I'm really bad with names and especially like Russian names. So, well, or foreign, foreign names, whoever that's pronounced, foreign. I think. Hmm. Looks a bit suspicious. There was once a stash hidden in a while in a similar place like this, so... So I thought there might be one, one inside, but I guess not. Hmm, what's this? I mean, I know what it is, but is it being used as something? Like a table or something? Hello! If you got something to say, say it. Yurka Modor. Modor. I mean, uh, yeah, they all say the same thing. He's a loner. Uh, well, I think everybody here is a loner. Oh, hey, Wolf. Uh, yeah, let's talk. Who are you? I mean, I know this is... Oh, this is Wolf, okay. What? Hey, can you stop pushing me? Ah. Uh, out of my way, man. This is a rookie village, not a mercenary camp, buddy. Okay. He's in the bunker just outside our village. Yeah, I think I know where it is. Uh, got any work for me? One of my boys can seem to deal with others thinking he's a rookie. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure thing. Uh, yeah. Tell me about yourself. The boss around here. Oh, you're the boss around here. So he's trying to get out. I see. Well, do you have anything you want to trade? Not really. Uh, oh, look at how much uh, weight I lost. When? Wait, I lost. That sounds a bit odd. Uh, but look at that. When I when I sold my food items. 
I unloaded a bunch of weight. Okay, but anyways, let's go here before I go talk to Sidorovich. Come on. Okay. Yeah, the arrows already pointed me here. Uh, I gotta say, I'm really tired today. Didn't really sleep well last night, as usual. And when I'm tired, and when I when, um, record, and when I'm tired, as a combination, I ramble a lot and I mumble a lot so I'm gonna be messing up a lot, a lot of words especially since I'm speaking English right now and it's not my native tongue so just bear with me I'm trying my best here I just might end up saying some old words and stuff like that and stutter a lot as well oh that's him I'm already here Oh god, don't die, man. Did I save? <laughs> no, I'm not going to let him die. Let's go back there. Oh god. <laughs> okay, let's try again. That was horrible. Oh, the rain ended. That's nice. I hate rain. Usually. Sometimes it's nice in real life. I don't know why, but in games I usually just dislike them. Hey! Ow! Oh yeah, also somebody asked if I lowered my difficulty, but I haven't. So it's still here, Stalker. Uh, so, yeah. This may not be over yet. Yeah, don't go anywhere. I want to see if these dogs Quiet, have anything. Uh, okay. So, your buddy Wolf asked me to come rescue you. Drifter. Oh, I need to escort him. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. I need to bandage myself up. Have I mentioned already how much I enjoy the Stalker franchise? I have a... What I feel like I keep repeating it, but I really like these, these games, because the atmosphere. And it's just fun to play. This is my type of game. For real. Are you a stash? No, you're not. Okay. Excellent! Let's go get my reward. Uh, can I talk to you now? Drifter? Hello brother, welcome to our neck of the woods. Uh, get away from me. Oh god, <laughs> don't go. I just saved you. I'll pay you with the contents of the case that is lying next to an anomaly behind the junkyard at the cordon. Uh... Sure. Sure. Okay, let's go here. Let's go talk to the guy. Actually, let's go get my reward first. Hello, Wolf. I saved your friend. Uh, excellent. So, let's go. Come on, spill the beans. Somebody smoking cigarettes around here. So it's here, yeah. It's over here. Hello! Hi, uh, nice to see you. So, shall we talk business? How are you? It's been a while. Yeah, it's really been a while. Uh, anything here? Nope. Let me save first. How are ya? Hello, Mark. Tell me, what brings you here? And they say a stalker was here recently, looking for rare components. You remember him? Hmm, I see so many stalkers in here, it's a pain to remember them all. Any reason I should strain my brain for you? Uh, 
Now we're talking business. I like that. Well, here's the thing. I've been here for a while. My business is up and running. I get different orders here and there, and people trust me. I have a problem with my last order, and the trouble is the client is very important, and the loot he's after is unique. Everything okay. was going fine. Stalkers would get the loot from inside the zone, and the army boys were supposed to ensure they could get it through the cordon. Well, the two parties started bickering over something, and now the whole place has gone crazy. Uh -huh. The result is, the stalkers are fighting the military, and nobody's got a clue where the loot is. And that doesn't suit me at all, because the order needs to be completed. So, help me get the case with the loot, and I'll tell you all about your stalker and his components. Deal? Alright. Sure. Sounds good. These are the stalkers by the embankment. They've set up some sort of base there, and that's where they're holding the captive military commander, Kalinsky. I don't care what you do at that base. I don't care if those fruitcakes want to continue playing Robin Hood's Merry Men. All I want is that case and the loot that's inside it. Mm. For starters, try talking to Valerian, the stalker leader. I'll let them know you're coming on my behalf. All right. Let's do that. Relax. Don't be shy. What brings you here? Okay, let's go. Uh, it was nice meeting you. Bring me that case as soon as you find it. Yep, I'll be back soon. So, let's see. Is it gonna. Okay. I see. Hey, what's this other thing that it's telling me to go to? Find the upgrade. Ah, okay. Well, I'm not gonna head back there just yet, because I just recently arrived at the cordon. So yeah, I'll do that later. Oh hey, what's this? Your guitar isn't making any sound, that's a bit odd. What's your name? Anton Conrad. I'm listening. Bogdan. Is that blind or Can't lead? you see I'm busy? Get it's to the blind. point. Okay. I'm not even gonna try to talk to them. Because they're just gonna be angry with me, bothering them. Dude, you shouldn't be there. There's radiation. Oh, is, is he trying to look for a, for, for an artifact? Also, there's a stash right there. Should I go see it? Yeah, it's on the other side, actually. Let's go see. Oh. Radiation. Yeah, there's a warning sign, even. And I'm just gonna walk right here. Where are you? God. Oh! Radiation. Come on. Who placed a stash here? What a jerk. I'm not gonna go there. Actually, I mean, I have some vodka. So, maybe I should. Ah, uh, fine. Oh, hey! Wait. Where? Where are you? Oh, excellent! Okay. <laughs> yep, it was a good thing I came here. So what's this? Stone flower, telepathy plus one. Telepathy? What is telepathy? I mean... What is it in this game? <laughs> what does it do in this game? Radiation plus one. Well... I don't think I want anything that gives me radiation. Oh, I'm dying here. Wait. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting that I should drink the vodka before I go to the radiation zone. Oh, I'm dying. Let's heal myself. What's killing me? What? Okay. There weren't any indicators that I was irradiated. I don't know what just happened there. Okay. It's fine. Let's just keep going. Wait a moment, is it raining again? 
Oh no! Come on now, it just ended raining. Or stopped raining. I don't know if ended raining is the right way to say it. Oh no, don't see me. Come on guys, I'm just gonna walk past you. I'm not even going to attack you. I'm just gonna mind my own business. Somebody's fighting. Should I go see what's going on? Oh, somebody just died. It's a friend of mine. Military. Oh. Yeah, let's go this way. I don't want to fight anybody right now. Go, quick. The trader put in a word for you. If you got something to say, say it. Uh, I don't have anything to say, actually. So tell me, what's up? What's in here? <gasps> There's a box. Some ammunition. I'm just gonna pick it up, because I might be able to sell it to somebody. Flashlight off. Is that the place? It is. You know what? Let me drink an energy drink. Oh, I got ten of them. Well, nine now, but I don't think I need that many. Also, let me just. I need to reset the recording because I want to make sure that everything's correct. So, see you soon. Alright, all should be good. Let's continue on. I realized I had recorded for... Or I've recorded for 20 minutes already, so... I'm not gonna record for much longer. So it's not gonna be too long of an episode. Man, waiting for you a long time. So complete. Go see the leader start. Okay, meet the stalker leader. Well, I was here already just now. Ah, it's open now. I see. But first of all, let me go see if I can sell any what can I ammunition do for? that I don't need to this guy. So this is 919. I don't think any of my weapons use 919. Yeah. Really? <laughs> That's not much. It's fine though. It's better than nothing. How about... Okay, I'm not gonna sell this to this guy. Because this is worth 3000. And he's gonna pay me under 2000 so that's that's not gonna work for me i'm sure there's gonna be some people who's gonna pay better for the artifacts i think that uh in what was it again call of chernobyl i think it was uh the ecologists pay the best for or the scientists the best for artifacts. So if I come across any artifact, artifacts, I mean scientists, I'm gonna sell my artifacts to them. Yeah, like I said, I'm tired. Can't articulate my words at all. Or my thoughts, more like. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why is it so dark in here? You guys need some windows in here. Or lights. Could be useful too. Well, I guess it's you standing dramatically under a light. What's this? Don't mind if I loot your office just now? Hmm, he doesn't seem to care. So, who are you? Father Valerian. He's a loner as well. Howdy, Merc. Also we nice don't see mustache. too much of you at the cordon. What brings you here? Uh... Yeah. From Sidorovich, you say? So, you know about the commander too? Alright, I'll be straight with you. We used to cooperate with the army. They'd allow us to transport goods safely through the outpost and let us in on some useful information. We paid well for their services. But then we found out that jerk of a commander worked for both sides. 
Ah. He supplied the bandits with our whereabouts. Okay. Then he went and sold two of our guys as slaves at the garbage. That was what? the last straw. Okay. So if you, if what you say is true, I completely am on your side. So. Yeah, I guess we got a little carried away. Can't figure out what to do now. We're holding the commander hostage. Which is a kind of guarantee that the army is not going to bomb our asses back to the Stone Age with their choppers. We can't kill him, but we can't let him go either. I guess the that's the guy son in of the a cell. bitch knows that we need him alive, and he's not caving in a damn inch. Trouble is, he's the only one who knows where the loot is hidden. If we don't ah. deliver that loot to Sidorovich, he won't do business with us ever again. If we could only make this army best and play by our rules, it would be a whole different ball game, believe me. Alright. I'm gonna go have a chat with the commander. Uh, is that really a good idea? Do I have any experience in interrogating? Really now? Okay. Well, I guess I could give it a try, but... Well, I guess we'll just see what happens. Ugh, oh, the rain! The rain! It's terrible! So... You... What you staring at, face? Oh. Okay. Your voice is a bit odd. Ha, huh, it's funny seeing a military commander behind bars. Laugh all you want. If you're here to find out where I hid the case with the loot, you're in for a disappointment. Go back to your beloved zone. My boys are gonna obliterate your pathetic posse soon enough. And it's for your ringleader. We will hang him on the bridge so everyone can see what you get for messing with the military. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh, really? Hmm. And how much would you charge for your services? Uh, what if I ask you to help out my boys by taking out those snipers at the railroad in bank? Uh, dude. Good riddance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is not gonna work. We're not gonna get anything out of him. Okay, let's go back to this guy. So, so. did you learn anything useful? Uh. Of course they'll save him. The rat bastard owes them a whole bunch of dough. He ran their operations on his own and stashed the cash away somewhere. Listen, I've got an idea. The commander's got only two men he can count on. They served together at the outpost and he cut them in on the deals, so they'll do whatever they can to get him out. If we dispose of them, the bastard ah, will realize okay. nobody's coming for him. He'll crack and we'll beat out of him the location of the stash with the loot. We split the money and Sidorovich gets the case. What do you say? Mm, you know what? That sounds good. That's an option. You got any ideas on where I could find? Well, well yeah, we actually need to find find about the uh, men's locations as well. I have this feeling we won't have to look for them. Khaletsky's buddies are wandering around here somewhere planning to attack us. A small squad has been spotted at the elevator. Help us destroy them. What elevator? What, what elevator? Is there an elevator around here somewhere? Okay, well I guess the map is just gonna tell me where to go. At the elevator? Okay, that's the fact factory, isn't it? I think. Okay. Well. Well. Okay, let me see real quick if I want to sell anything before I go. Uh, I don't think so. I really. Okay, I don't, I'm not gonna sell anything. Also, can I talk to the commander again? Come, everyone, and rejoice. Or major. In what else do you want? Uh, so how did you end up in the Stalker Slammer? Think you're funny? Man, if we were talking under different circumstances, I would give you a different answer. I am tired of this shit, buddy. The guys I started out with in the military have all got their shiny stars and decent outfits to run in better places than this. 
Think I got nothing better to do than chase people like you around the zone? They've had enough of this, this shithole, the friggin' zone, the, the bastard stalkers and that Sidorovich cocksucker. Wow. Let's not forget the mutants. We lay down our lives to stop them, but they just keep on coming, and, and everyone on the outside just goes on and on about how we have to protect the world from the horrors of the zone, and we won't let it happen. Generals, those morons on Tiwi, you could drown in their bullshit. And how many of these top brass have ever been on a raid in this place, crawling on their damn bellies in between anomalies, huh? How many of those lazy sons of bitches have cleared the sector or, or spent the day chasing stalkers to the swamps? Those bastards are always using the army to plug the messiest holes. Mm hmm. So what if I loot to the cordon for some cash? Huh? I live and I let others live, understand? Do you know even what my official salary is, asshole? Exactly. You try living on that. They pay me nothing, and they expect me to feel pride in my job and in my country. The bosses are making a killing out of this zone, just like everyone else. Why shouldn't I? My job is to do what I am ordered and survive. So, I am surviving as best I can. Curse this whole place and all the assholes in it. I don't know whether to shoot them all or to blow my own brains out. Hmm. See? So what? I don't give two shits about you or your kind. You're not even supposed to be in here. You should have been shot on sight as soon as you crossed into the zone. No shit, huh. those are actually my orders. Wow. Trouble <laughs> this is, guy. you can't get much of a dead body, and I am do better compensation for my service here. The army won't pay it, so I gotta take it for myself. As for your interfaction conflicts, <laughs> I really couldn't care less. You can kill each other all you like. You won't hear me complain. All right. Get lost and stay lost, Merc. Okay. Uh, what I really appreciate is that some of these dialogues actually have a voice acting. So it's kind of easier to follow. Compared to, like, when I talk to the... Well, I guess the smaller side characters, they sometimes don't, ha don't have any voice acting. So... So yeah, that's a small thing I, want, I wanted to mention. Okay, well I guess he's not really a big character. Actually, I don't know, he might uh, end up being a bigger character, but... I'm just saying it's nice to have some characters I'm with me. voice acting. Because it actually adds... I'm listening. <laughs> okay. Uh, because it actually I'm adds... Ears. Can you stop interrupt interrupting I'm me? Listening. Oh god, this guy. Anyways. It adds... More personality to the characters, of course, when... There's actual voice acting involved, in my opinion. So, yeah. But yeah. I think I'll be ending this episode right here. Also, for, sorry for rambling a lot in this episode. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Let me just save it real quick. These people, everybody's waving at me. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye bye.